Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about whether or not I think natural hair looks professional. So I got this question from one of my subscribers and I just thought it was a fantastic question. Now I think it's a great question, not for the obvious reason, <laughs> because I myself have natural hair, but for a number of other reasons. And I'll share that with you just a little later. But first, let me give you just a little bit of her background. So she's in the field of finance, and as you know, finance is a conservative field. And she wanted to know from me whether or not I think natural hair looks professional, whether I thought her natural hair would get in the way of her progression, her going to the next level. And so I thought it was a great question because number one, when you're going to the next level of your career, or when you're trying to ascend to the next level, you tend to be a little more conservative in your overall business attire and your professional appearance. And you tend to be just a little bit more conservative because you recognize that if you're going to get to the next level, you want people who are in the managerial ranks or the executive ranks, you want them to be able to see you there. And so you tend to blend in a little bit more with organizational cultures and norms. So each organization has its own culture and it has its own norms. Whether it's written down or not, you're able to see exactly what that culture is and what those norms are once you've been in the organization for a while. And if you really want to go to the next level in that organization, then you kind of have to prescribe to the overall culture and also to the norms. So of course, she has to keep these things in mind. In addition to that, I really thought that this is a great question because I myself struggled with this question when I decided to wear my hair natural. So I decided to wear my hair natural about three years ago. And at the time, I just wondered if it looked professional, if people would still see me in a more serious or formal manner. I also wondered if it looked polished, if it looked professional. I didn't want it to look too casual. So I went through this overall thing on what my hair looked like and how it would appear in the boardroom. And so as an African-American woman, we are often taught that our hair should be straightened, that somehow if we straighten our hair, then it is more beautiful, that it is more polished, that it's more professional, that somehow if our hair is straightened, then people feel more comfortable with us because we start to assimilate or look like them. So I won't go into that, but what I will say is this, African-American women, well, we have started to embrace our natural beauty. We recognize that our big, bold, curly, natural hair is a part of who we are. It is a part of our DNA. And so now we no longer prescribe to that old adage that we have to straighten our hair. If we want to straighten our hair, then we straighten our hair. But if we want to wear it natural and curly, then we do that as well. And so to answer the question, I absolutely think that natural hair is beautiful, bold, and that it will not affect your going to the next level. Now, keep in mind that finance is a conservative field. And so you want to be more cognizant of how you style your hair. If you are wearing your hair big, bold, and curly, then you want to just be cognizant and make sure that you don't wear it in a way, a way that is more presentable for the runway as opposed to finance. In addition to that, you don't want to show up one day with blue hair. After all, finance is a conservative field, so you have to be careful in terms of if you color your hair, how you color your hair, and how you style your hair. Whether it is straight, whether it is curly, you just want to be more conscious of your overall professional polish look and how that relates to your field in finance. In addition to that, if there is no company policy as it relates to your curly hair, then by all means, wear your naturally curly hair. And if there is a company policy relating to your bold, beautiful, natural curly hair, then you probably want to reevaluate whether you wanna work for that company or not. So, that is it, that is my opinion on whether or not natural hair looks professional. I absolutely do think that it looks professional. I think with all things that whether it is a finance field, whether it is a less conservative field, you have to determine how you wanna wear your hair in those fields, but whether you wear it naturally curly or whether you wear it straight, it is perfectly acceptable. I'll also say that I absolutely love my curly hair. I have just truly enjoyed it this way. 
at first I had decided I was going to grow it out and let it get a little bit longer. But after doing that for a few months, I realized that I just really embrace short hair because it is just less maintenance for me. And that's what I want, just a little less maintenance. And so I absolutely love my curly hair. And I hope that you too will embrace your naturally curly hair. Now, before I go, I want to share with you guys a few of the products that I use for my curly hair. And I'm not going to get into a whole big video on how to manage natural hair because of course I couldn't do it anyway because I like to keep things low maintenance so I don't do a whole lot to my hair and there are some great videos out there on naturally curly hair where you can get some tips on how to maintain your curly hair how to style it how to cut it all of those wonderful things but before I go I want to just share some of the products that I use for my hair because I really really like these products so I generally use two brands and the first brand I use are the Aveda products. And it is these two products by Aveda. It is their Be Curly line for naturally curly hair. And I absolutely love them. I love the shampoo and the conditioner. And I like these two because they keep my hair hydrated. They keep my hair soft. And I just really, really love these products. I think they're great. In addition to that, Aveda products tend not to have a whole lot of perfume. And you guys have heard me say, I have allergies. And so I don't like things with a whole lot of fragrance. Now with that said, I do like this other brand for styling my hair. And it is this brand here, Moroccan Oil. I love the Moroccan Oil products. I love the Curl Defining Cream and also the Curl Control Mousse. These two products are great. They keep my hair moisturized, they keep my hair soft, and they define my curls. Now the downside of the Moroccan products, of course, is the smell. Some people just absolutely love the smell, but I do not like the smell so much because it is perfumey and I do have allergies. So I really, really do have to watch how much of the product that I tend to use during a given day. But overall, I absolutely love the products. I love both the Moroccan products and the Aveda products. And I absolutely have learned to embrace my naturally curly hair. So I hope this video helped. Hopefully you are embracing your naturally bold, beautiful curly hair. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. This channel is all about the ambitious woman. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.